Good day, friends. Recently, I've been reading and researching paranormal activity, particularly accounts of people who have seemingly encountered superhuman or supernatural beings, particularly in the wilderness. I've, I've read accounts of this kind of stuff through the years, and most of these things are debunked. There is no archaeological record of any of this stuff, and yet I find it intriguing. Uh, some of these accounts are from people who seem pretty rational-minded. Now, there are theories that these could be interdimensional beings, so it's possible there's no archaeological record because these interdimensional beings can kind of come in and out of our perceived reality while leaving no trace of their actual presence. And in researching this topic, the uh, Judeo-Christian notion of the Nephilim um, referring to the giants in the Bible. Numbers 13.33 is where the Nephilim are referenced as far as the Jewish people's attempts to get into Canaan under Moses' lead out of Egypt during the 40 uh, years of roaming through the wilderness. Out of Egypt... There is the Sinai Peninsula, the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula. And what is today, present day Israel, is where Canaan is. And that's where the Nephilim lived. They were giant, tall people who initially repelled Moses' people. Um, so they were sent back, basically. This is the Sinai Peninsula. There's this kind of theme of the underworld of um, Egyptian uh, soldiers who are whose lives may have ended short or violent deaths that would be in this kind of underworld as uh, interpreted as some kind of fallen angel and that's actually referenced in um, Ezekiel 33 or 32 27 so that's why uh, when you read about or hear about these encounters, potential encounters with superhuman creatures that people may see in the wilderness or these isolated accounts, these alien type of accounts, oftentimes people will say that this is a kind of, uh, kind of a conflation between these giant Canaanites from the biblical giant Canaanites uh, and or conflated with these fallen angels, because apparently the Hebrew word is very similar between either giants or these uh, sons of God, as mentioned in Ezekiel, as being uh, fallen angels in a way. So two very different concepts there. However, just even um, going over this stuff, just without getting all supernatural about it, it's interesting how different cultures, races around the world, even today, some are of smaller stature, different features, and others are uh, quite tall on average. So if there are this group, the Nephilim, who I believe are also referred to as the um, Anox, um, the different tribe also associated with the Nephilim of that period. The actual Exodus, Moses is placed at around 1200 BC. So during that time, 1200 BC, guys, is it possible that these Nephilim um, were just people of abnormally tall stature in comparison? to other Mediterranean cultures, races, please post your comments below. And thanks for watching.